So yeah, by the bar. But why is it by the bar? What does that mean? Because I right, this actually is, this, it's a it's a double entendre. Double by, entendre, all right. By the by the bar was supposed to be uh, uh um we ended up talking about sports and stuff. Uh -huh. But we supposed to be talking about music uh -huh. and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And we were supposed to be sitting by the bar. Oh y'all supposed to be getting wet doing it. Oh okay, okay. But y'all just didn't do it by the bar yet. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we yeah, gotta you got get by the bar money. No, no, you, <laughs> look, 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 let me tell you something. There's a bar that'll let you in there. I'll put you on off camera. No doubt. I'll right. put you on. You just gotta spend a little money. You got the money. You you don't know you got the money. You got the money. Right. It'll cost you a pair of Jordans. Alright. Okay. Not money. an hour though. No, and of course you're a pair of Jordans. Oh, all right. Cause okay. we had a bar to bar connect <laughs> when he wanted a pair of Jordans an hour. No, what? he wanted he wanted two pairs of Jordans an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what kind of and bar he was that? On one thirty eighth. Oh no, we ain't gonna shout. Yeah, that's not even. We ain't gonna shout out this bar. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> all right, so what's going on? What's next? What? So yeah, um, <laughs> what's your nigga word? You know, we went through the puffy. We go for puff, produce. Mm -hmm. Everything but on the first album forever with double platinum, triple to quadruple over time. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. And then Puffy last album, actually, if y'all don't know, Puffy last album. Press play. Press play. Mm -hmm. Mr. Rogers was on that first single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and I want you to talk about that. Come to me, Pussycat Dog. Shout out to them. Yeah, okay. Shout out to Puff and the whole night. Shout out to, shout out to, shout out to Puff, man. Yeah, and, uh, uh, you know, we always had our moments, and they've been great moments. And, and, and I learned a lot watching him. I learned a lot watching him. Some days I don't even use half the shit, and I need to get better with that. <laughs> Not but, to cut you off, can you get into how, um, you know, people say Puff is really a monster when they come to business? Like, a really a monster about he's a, he's a monster. everything he do. Like, he's a monster. Don't stop, won't like, stop is a real thing. It's a real thing. That's like, a real thing. It's, it's evident. You see him still. You, you, fit, you see him still here. He ain't, even, he ain't even put music out in ten years, yeah, he's and he's still, still here. here. You know what I'm saying? That's like exactly. he's a genius. Like he is. A, he is a genius. You know, people um not they say he don't do this. He, he don't get enough credit. In my opinion, he don't get enough credit as a producer. Yeah, because yeah. people talk about like well, well only in hip hop. It's only, his, I mean, no, it's, it's business is business. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I ain't never been signed to him or signed my publishing to him or none of that stuff, so I was always a hired gun. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I always just got hired, called in, do what you do, right. and, and, I, and I walk away. Is it true when um, they say this is producing too? Is it true if... You did it, and you put me and Dave in the booth together and make a hit. Did you produce that record? Because you got us together, period. That's a big part of it. Like, I put y'all in the studio I together. Put that in, came out like, like magic, I but I put produced I put this record. It's, is that it's, true? It's different. People say that's true. This is, this, this, is, this is what I'll say. An executive producer of an album by L.A. Reid, mm -hmm. he puts... Dallas Austin, Rico Wade, um, I know I'm leaving out producers, um, and they come together, he puts them in the room together and say, okay, and this is my group TLC, and they make Crazy Sexy Cool. And he comes that's back to exact, it. That's executive producer. Mm. The money, paying for the studio, paying for everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why they get what they get out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, putting people in the room together, a and R's do that. You know, I think this writer and this producer get together, they're going to make a hit. I take that hit, I give it to that yeah. artist, that and artist. And what's singing. the credit on the actual album when it's said and done? Like, you was the a You was the yeah. a for the project. So you wasn't a co-producer. You didn't, you didn't you co-produce that record. You just, like, because there's the record, but then there's the album. Then there's yeah. I work for the label. Then there's yeah. I work with the, I work for the artist. I work, yeah. there's so many moving parts. It's not as simple as, now, him putting them together in the room, and if it's an album he's putting out, he's the executive producer. He can put his name wherever he wants. He's paying for everything. Yeah. But <laughs> me being in the room and, and, and me and you come up with a hit record, we made that hit record. Mm -hmm. We did make that yeah. hit record. Now, Who the outside... That, Us? No, yeah, we, it depends. 
Because sometimes people make a beat and say they produce and, it. And, 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 and that's only in hip hop. I remember having <laughs> an argument about that. Wow. And somebody said to me, I said, because I was like, we were getting beats from producers for, um, was it Kim? It might have been Kim or it might have been Mano. I don't know. <laughs> but. Shout out to Mano. Shout out to my brother Mano. Man. Go to Threads, go to Threads <laughs> in Brooklyn, support my man's store. Mm -hmm. So, boom. Right. First black store, too. I seen that whole thing with Mano. Shout out to that store and you, everything. You know what I'm saying? the ribbon on it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Yeah. So, so, basically, like, what I was saying in the argument was, we was talking about the end credits on the album or something, and I just had to voice my opinion because I was like, I really felt I produced a lot of that album. I don't remember which one it was. Like, I, I'm not trying to, you know, do that. But I was like, yo, like, who the hell is these five dudes? And they like, oh, that's the guy that made the beat. I'm like, but he didn't produce the record. He made the beat. I don't know this dude. It was Kim's album. I'm like, she don't know this dude. <laughs> wow. I was like, we've never met this person. We got your beat, yeah. And you're going to get paid for it and all of that. Like, whatever the business is, I ain't got nothing to do with that. But you weren't in the room when we made the record. Mm. You weren't here when we was like, no, you should say it like this. Mm. Oh, on this part. Oh, you want to go Spanish here. Okay, cool. But you wasn't there for none of those decisions. That's so crazy. how did you produce the record? Oh, he tried to take No, he didn't even. Producer. No, no, it wasn't oh. even him. I don't know. I never met this person. <laughs> <laughs> I never laid eyes on this man or woman or whatever he is or <laughs> it is that made the beat. I don't know them. I never laid eyes <laughs> on this person. All right. I was That's talking crazy. to one of, one of my um, colleagues at the label because they was getting the credits together and I was just like, yo, that shit should say produced by me. Mm. And everybody was like, oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> and I said, well, Quincy Jones produced Thriller, and he ain't touched one instrument. And they was like, oh, you Quincy Jones now? <laughs> I, said, oh. I said, no, I'm not Quincy Jones. Right. I'm not Quincy Jones, but if I don't have this argument today, I never will be. That's, That's a, a fact. fact. And it's only That's in hip-hop. It's only fact. in hip-hop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, that, that's a fact. <laughs> And I don't want to bring up this, but it just come, you know, shit just come to me. It just come to okay. That's like saying with Mel Man and Dr. Dre, right or wrong? Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Well, I don't know. Is that a perfect example? I don't know they. I, just I don't know, know they inner workings. Inner workings, yeah. Cause I've met Mel Man. He's a he's a great dude. Like we have fun from nights in Atlanta. Like he's a wild boy, and he got heat. Like, but he's part of. Dre's production team. Whole machine. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. So yeah, like focus really and know them. That. Like so it's like but. you know what I mean? It's like it's that's that's like having the hitman, like Puff had the hitman. That's different. Mm -hmm. You know they yeah, produce these records. Machine. You know you know they produce these records. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about they said Dre Dre do shit like yo put put like the strings in. Like, I've never been dream. in the studio, I've never had the pleasure or the honor of being in the studio with Dr. Dre. Yeah. Mm. I've never met Dr. Dre, but if Dr. Dre say that's where the strings go, that's where the strings go. Yeah, that's a fact. That's He's producing it. It don't matter who played it. That's and they fact. say it about listen, Puff, listen, too. Listen, listen, listen. That's why I brought up Puff mixed bringing the beat two together. Because like, that's what they say Puff do. Puff, Puff bring, bring everybody to the studio, Puff bring and he'll say he produced it. No. That's what well, they, that's I don't why, know. I don't know because I never dealt with that. I never dealt with that. Like I said, like I was like, yo, my man Sean C said to me one day. Allegedly, he was just he was like, yo, you, you're not a ghostwriter. You get credit. I yeah. was like, that's yeah. okay. Like, because I said, I need my name on it. But it's like, I've seen Puff mix a record, mix a beat. I hate it. Like, when they played it for me, I was like, yo, this beat's trash. I was like, man, I got to write this shit. I'm like, yo, this shit's trash. <laughs> And he come in and he he fucking around and he just uh, be rocking. So Puff down, actually, that. hold on, and Puff I'm like, actually I'm like, knows I'm like, how to work. Yeah, oh, yo son, he's a different animal. Now that's what I needed to know for all y'all fans seen, that I've said seen, Puff yeah. don't do nothing. No, see, but dancing see, niggas videos. See that right there. And the business side of all things. All that know. shit. All Puff that shit. Know how, know Let what me what tell you something, man. <laughs> None of them will be who they are without him. That's crazy. And this is just what it is. 
It's anybody, hard. anybody that been around that man is who they are because of that man. Bottom line. You have talent. Bottom line. You, that's you that's have the talent. You have the talent. You do from A and R to engineers to writers to whatever. Stop it, five. Stop it. <laughs> like, come on, man. He's not what? <laughs> come on, man. Like, I don't nah. People just didn't really know if Puff. No, was mixing. Me. If he was. When a, nobody. If I, he do beats. I've never mixed no, nothing. Know. I've never mixed nothing. I don't want to engineer your session. That's a fact. I don't even want to be there till I'm supposed to be there. <laughs> I want you to have what you're supposed to have done when I get there. If I'm writing the whole thing, okay, cool, I'm writing the whole thing. You learn it. Mm -hmm. I tell you how to say it, or I, I give you my opinions. Mm -hmm. Blase, blase, blase. You didn't produce the record. I don't have to make the beat to produce your record. I don't have to write your record to so, produce your record. So, <laughs> what are you saying? A beat maker is not necessarily a beat maker. A, a beat maker. A beat maker is a, a beat, beat maker. maker. Cause you could put a producer, you could put a beat maker in the room and he can't produce the record. He'll be standing there like, yo, the beat fire. Hard, and you like that. Got. So now what, what are we supposed to do? How do you want me to rap to this? What 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 are you like? What what, what are you? Because you like, actually made the beat, so you have more feeling than me. You post it. You don't have yo. You supposed to have the feeling like nah. Well, I hear sometimes this. it's hard. I'll make a beat and sometimes it's hard to write to it. Yeah, that's why I didn't produce every beat on the on the harvest. Sometimes it's hard. I make the beat now. I'm gonna rap. Uh, this, I need a different vibe. I need a different opinion. I need mm -hmm. this. I need that. It's only really a hip hop. You know, somebody makes the beat and then it's like produced by such and such. If you look at R and B, it'd be like vocal production by such and such. Additional <laughs> keys and synths was this but, dude. Yeah, yeah, this dude, yeah. Got yeah it. By this person, additional whatever, whatever. That's a fact. And, oh, but only in rap music, it's like this is where he sampled the beat from. <laughs> he sampled from this record. And, and usually the whatever. beat maker is the producer. Usually. And 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 he never met. Yo, I'm. And yo. That's crazy. Like, like, I, yo, like, like, my man Spider used to say to me all the time. Spider was like, yo, it's gonna get to a point where Roger's gonna want co production on records. Cause he saw it. He, like, yo, writers are in the studio with the artists. The guy that made the beat isn't always there. That's a fact. You get the beat off YouTube. This dude's not there. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> now you can find him and you can buy the beat and you can do all of that, but he's, nobody's flying him in the. Hear his opinion? No, we got the beat, man. This is fine. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yes, bye. <laughs> we in here for three it's days. Bye, nigga. A, a week, two it's weeks. We in, here. we in here. We in here. You know what I'm saying? Two weeks going on and on and on. Three in the morning and all of this. But then the credits come out produced by Jay Lutter. Who the, who's Jay? <laughs> I don't know Jay. No disrespect to Jay. Yeah. Great beat. Your credit, your credit should say mini drum programming by keyboards by. Oh, it that, that technical again. That's that what it should that? say. It should. He's saying it should. That's what it should say. It should. You didn't produce the record. So tell me like what came across like, your mind when the melody for the hook came. Tell me. Tell tell me what happened. Like uh, it uh, wasn't there. As far as like, well, he's saying like. What Gamal used to do for us. Like Gamal, Gamal just give me the beat and come back to Gamal as a song. Did he produce that record? Yeah, but I'm putting right. Gamal as the producer. It's crazy because no, I'm going to put him as Gamal, the producer. Gamal did something different for you than what he did for me. Because like when he when he do my joints, Gamal do, do everything besides write the song. Mm. Besides yeah. write the song, I'm not touching nothing on that computer, nigga. But, we, we so he engineered it, he, he engineered made the beat, it. but like when you yeah, rap it, cause he say, yo, yo, like when you said ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba, you mm -hmm. should say it like, ah, 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 Oh, nah, ah, I don't do ah, that. Ah. He didn't produce the record. <laughs> oh, that's, see, that's now we have an understanding. That's heavy. Like, yeah, he gave you the beat, he sat there and engineered it, and he tweaked this beat, and mm -hmm. he made it all, yo, he mixed it, he, whatever <laughs> you want to say. But you didn't produce the record, you just recorded that's the heavy. record. People and get paid you, to do you that. You produced the beat. You, you made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you made the beat. Yeah, 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 but, yeah but, but niggas ain't producing beats. They producing records. That's a fact. You're right. If you want to produce the beat and the record, do an instrumental album. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> now, now we got our understanding, but now we gonna My get opinion. to 
That's not <laughs> me. That's not me. But that's a, is a good understanding. Mm-hmm. But now we're going to get to the Pussycat Dogs and how Diddy hit you back after you done went quadruple platinum or forever. <laughs> and this but is real went, back. He went quadruple platinum. This is real back. He went quadruple platinum, but yeah, you, yeah, the plat is in here. Nigga. I yeah, see the, the plat. Plat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see the plat. So yeah. did he had to call you back? Yo, that's a funny story. Cause <laughs> I didn't even know Satisfy You came out. Mm. Wow. Yo, this is real. I was at my man Rodney crib. Shout out to Rodney. I was laying on the couch, and my man Jay Garfield called me, and he was like, "Yo, how I feel to be the number one nigga in the world?" And I was like, "Yo, I don't know what you're talking about, cause I'm broke." <laughs> and I need a crib, and I gotta figure all this shit out. And he was like, "Son, go get a billboard." He was like, he was like "Go get, a, go get a billboard." And I was like, "Go get a billboard." <laughs> and I went and got a billboard magazine, and um, I forgot it. what it's either P two thousand or Satisfy You, but they was both out there. Shout outs to Kelly Price and R. Kelly yeah, who wrote yeah. that with Mr. Rogers. Yeah, well, Kelly Price wrote it. She wrote the hook. Oh, right, right. I wrote See? the verses. All right. And R. Kelly sang the hook. Mm. That's heavy. And, and took a piece of the publisher. <laughs> Shit like that. Shit Continue like though. That. <laughs> Continue. We need all that. But um, um, so so um, what are you talking about? Um, oh, I'm saying it was a, it was a funny story mm-hmm. about um about coming to me and and um satisfying you because I didn't even know satisfying you was out. Mm. And um, so I go, I see the billboard. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. So my man was like, yo, you know, that's when I, you know, pe- all kind of people calling me, like, publishers from all over the world. Like, everybody's like, well, do you want to sell your publishing? I'm like, no. Indian and A-Bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, German. Got and, gold. And, <laughs> right. like, everybody asked me if I'm going to sell my pub and how much would I want. And I was just bugging. But um, I didn't do it. And then um, I did an admin deal. So that gave me a nice check to just sit out. What's an admin deal? An admin deal is like you never sell your publishing. You just give them a percentage to find your money. Mm. So, so you know, sometimes people told me I was stupid for not doing a publishing deal. Um, I don't think I was, you know. Um, because like right now, say for instance, somebody was to sample any of them songs. I'm going to get a piece of that. You know, yeah. and all of that stuff. So, you know, like I said, I lived off records for years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... Um, I go to um, with Satisfy You, I go, I get the admin deal and all that stuff, but I didn't know the record was even out. <laughs> and then um, it was a party at Justin's, where Puff had Justin's, yeah, that's my neighbor with the dog. It's only us two, but it's that dog. I've been to Justin's with you, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in Atlanta. Oh, right? yeah, in Atlanta. Yo, they pulled a nice old joint. What? <laughs> nice, come on, that, that was 17 years old. <laughs> We ain't gonna talk about that whole run. That Atlanta shit was bananas. <laughs> but yeah, I can tell you. So, shouts to weed. Shouts to Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. As a yes. Situation. What? Yes. Love you guys. Yes. So, boom. So, so. I wish I would have seen y'all when I was down there. Many a nights, many a days. Yo. Many a nights and days collided. <laughs> so, we. we so I go to Justin, and um, it was funny because I had my man Aaron and his boy, oh, I can't remember his name, but um, a good dude. And um, he convinced me not to buy that Benz that day. Thank you. <laughs> no, really. Now you always tell me that story. You be like, Gabe, I was at the Benz dealership. Nigga, what? 100000 in the car. 75000 Like, all right, that car. Let's do it. Let's get it. It don't make no sense. It it's going to no be older sense. two years. <laughs> it's going to make no sense. So I ain't do none of that. But... We go, we go, I go to Justice, but it was loaded outside. So I was like, yo, we'll come back later. We'll come back later, it's still loaded. And I'm like, right, let's make the play. Mm-hmm. So I walk up to the front, girl come out with the list. I'm talking about it's pandemonium outside. I'm like, yo, um, I'm not on the list. She was like, what? I was like, I'm not on that list. I said, but if Puff saw me out here, he'd be a little hot that I was out here. She was like, he'd be hot. I was like, yeah, you be. <laughs> nigga, I'm yeah. the nigga who wrote this record. It don't even matter. Yeah, 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 you ain't got to do it. I right. just got to say this. Maybe she let me in. <laughs> she was like, all right, cool, you good. I said, like, all right, I got my two people. She was like, no, nah, you're going to go get Puff. And Puff <laughs> is going to come back with you because he be hot. So you got to bring Puff back to get your boys in. 
Mm. I said, that's deadly. I said, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whatever. So, because this is the thing. Mm. It all worked out, but I didn't care either way. Mm. You know, I would have left. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went yeah. somewhere else and had drinks. Yeah, don't know. <laughs> but um, I walk in, and as soon as I walk in, your puff standing right there, popping a bottle of uh, Cristal. He right there, like I'm talking about. This door open, you puff. I'm like, yo. He like, <laughs> <laughs> he, like he like, he like, yo, Raj. I was like, yo. He's like, yo, Kim, Raj here. I was like, Kim, what's that? She's like, baby. He was like, come on now. I was like, wait. He was like, what you mean, wait? I said, yo, I got two of my boys outside. He was like, you killing me. I was like, listen, they told me I can't get them in unless I come back with you. And he was like, bro, but what they dress like? Because I had like, my normal hoodie, jeans, and I was normal. And I was like, oh, no, nah, they, 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 they bank niggas. They got on suits and shit. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't, you know, my, my circle different. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, they got suits on and shit. Like, he was like, oh, all right, come on, come on. And he ran outside with me. And, and he shorty like, said, I want to hear what shorty she said. She looked at me like. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm like, light bulbs going up. Like, all right, I'm like, where the fuck they at, bro? They went crazy when he walked out there. I was like, they right there, they right there. So they ran in. And, 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 and that's how I found out Satisfy You was out. That's and, crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. And then, then I went and got a nice little situation, sat down, and just started making beats, dedicated to making beats and writing songs every day. Like, you know. Right, and that was your first. That was my first it, hit. That was my no, first hit. No, I'm talking about. But that night was um the first time you met Little Ken. No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> nah. All right. Me and Ken met in the Bahamas when I was working with, with Puff. All right. Puff took makes everybody sense. out there. Yeah, and, that makes um, sense. He took everybody out there, and it was like he was doing the album, Mace was doing the album, Kim was doing the album, and Lil C's was doing his album. Mm. This is after Biggie died. Jennifer Lopez was doing her album. album. Cause she sold Satisfy You for me, actually. Yeah, yeah, I remember that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah you told yeah. me, yeah. So and then he had to come in back and forth. Yeah, and cause I wrote, I wrote, Sat I wrote Satisfy You four or five times, and um, he didn't like none of them, and then um. He told me he wanted me to touch the fabric of a woman's DNA, of her soul. And I was like, shit. That's heavy. That's very heavy. <laughs> so I was like, all right. That's heavy. So it was deep. Rent and I paid in Atlanta. I was cool with the landlord. They called me like, yeah, we went in the crib. We know you didn't disappear. But, yo, you know, in Atlanta, you got like a, a good oh, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll throw your shit on the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, ain't no house in court. Ain't yeah. 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 Like, hey, you your rent or get, get out, nigga. <laughs> so, get out. So, but I knew the land, like the landlady, she she was really, I forgot her name, I ain't gonna lie, but she was really good to me. But I knew her through my man, that was his wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, um, and um, I was like, I'm in the Bahamas, rent not paid, shit crazy. Niggas is telling me to ask Puff for the money, that niggas that knew, because I was stressed while I was out there trying to write that shit. I was stressed out because, you know, like, nigga, shit could be on the lawn. You nigga, you be homeless when you get home. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. You know, I, but you got to risk it all to get it. You do. So, um, basically what happened was I saw friends of mine that I met out there that was working for him, all female. I'm on the beach, and they like, yo, what's up, Roger? I was like, yo, what the fuck do y'all want, man? And they like, damn, nigga, we just saying hello. And I'm like, no. What do y'all want from a man? Like, like, what the fuck? Like, cause I'm writing all the nice shit. I think I'm writing it right, but I'm not touching y'all soul. And then next thing you know, we sat Indian style on the beach, me and like five women. And they just started mm -hmm. talking to me. Talking wow. for real for hours. Wow. And I was like, yo, I got it. I was like, I got it. And I, I ran on, I left the beach, and I went to the hotel. I didn't go back to the studio. That's crazy. That's how crazy. you <laughs> produce that's a record. Crazy. <laughs> like, that's producing a record. And the crazy thing is, <laughs> they took 20% of my pay, too. Five joints on the beach. That's it, yo. <laughs> so, um... They tell you, like, when he, because Puff was paying people in cash. That's another story. That yeah. was hilarious. That's when he, the Jennifer yeah. Lopez story. Yeah, nah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yeah. So, so I go to the hotel, and I write all night. I write. 
And then, I, and you know, he had us on shifts, and mine was like 11 to like 4. So I was like, I was like, so I got to the studio early. Mace was in there destroying something. <laughs> he don't get the credit he deserves. That boy nice. We're going to talk about, we're going to get into nice. later. We're going to talk boy, about a Mace story. That boy, that boy nice. And how we, oh, with Reggie. I told him. <laughs> oh, with Reggie smacked up his hat playing live and all that. 2K. That's, we <laughs> going to get into Mace. I told you before. So, but yeah. So then um, <laughs> I came in early and um, I was just going over the record, going over the record. Like just make sure I knew it and loved it and made sure. Mm-hmm. And she walked in looking like, damn, like I was just like, what the fuck? And um, she sat down and was like, yo, what you doing? I was like, I'm writing a song. She was like, can I hear it? I was like, yeah. And I said it to her. She was the first person to hear it. That's and she was just like, for Lopez was the first person was like, to hear it. That's, that's when that started um, the legacy. That's yeah. when Diddy and J-Lo was together? Yeah, 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 yeah. yes. You know, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, she, no, she but was there. That time. Yeah, they was they, together. Yeah, they was they was on it. Like that was publicized type shit. Yeah, yeah, they was out there. Yeah, they was out there. But um, yeah, she was she was she said it, and then um, and then uh, she went and got Puff and brought him back. Like she left the room, and like she just left, like ran out, and I was just sitting there like, oh, all right, you know. And she came back dragging him, like like pulling him, and he was like, yo, bro, what the fuck you say to my girl? And I was like, mm. nothing. <laughs> like, bro, let's <laughs> yo. And I was like, man, but I said this. And she was like, say it again. And I played the beat and I said that shit. And he was like, you love, it? you like that? And she was like, I love this. And he was just like, congratulations, bro, it's a soul song. <laughs> and I was like, and he came back like 15 that's minutes later. That's me. And just that's started heavy. throwing, that's started heavy. Started that's throwing heavy. knots of hundreds at a nigga. That's knots crazy. of hundreds, like, thank you. Yeah, baby. That's better truck, baby. Just throwing that. I was just like, the I can see that nigga doing that. Shit. Nigga said the rent's paid. <laughs> <laughs> the rent is paid. Sent that Western Union. Like, just go pick that up. Pay my rent. And that's, that's but me meeting Kim out there. This is the crazy story. This is a real story. Hold on, we gonna cut the Kim joint. We need that. We need that. Bottom ball. Boom! <laughs> we got Dave and Gabe! He's coming back, he's too heavy. <laughs>